Hi, I'm Mark Weitzman, and in the series of videos that I plan on doing on the exercises for the Feynman Lectures on Physics, I want to um, show solutions to um, about 5 to 10 percent of the problems. Now many of you are familiar with the famous red books from over 50 years ago by Feynman on the Feynman Lectures on Physics, and if many, as many of you might be aware, I was staff for the uh, MITx quantum mechanics courses 804 to 806, and I've been CTAs on many other MOOCs on edX and elsewhere. And I always recommend people who need some more background in physics to read all three volumes of the Feynman Lectures on Physics. Interestingly enough, for a long time I had the uh, exercises book which went with the lectures from the 60s. I never did the problems, but it's out of print now. And they used to have also some pamphlets from the 60s. And I had these and bought them, but I never actually did the problems. But recently, about a month ago, I went on a mission and I bought this latest, the blue book, which has all the exercises from these other books, about 900 in total. It's available, I got it for like $18 on Amazon and now it's probably about $10. And um, they have all the um, answers to the problems, not solutions. They have answers, meaning they have like numbers or formulas, but they don't give how they got them to most of the problems. The problems themselves are about first year physics level, maybe a little bit harder, but they're not puzzle type problems and they're not really that difficult, but they are really good if you want to review introductory physics, they're good to um, go through. So today I'm going to go through a few of the problems and before I do, I just want to point out um, I have an email address that I can be reached at wannabetheoreticalphysicist at gmail.com and you can email me if there's a particular problem in this Feynman Lectures book that you want to see the solution. Also about 50 of these problems are on the website for the Feynman Lectures on Physics there's an exercise uh, tab where they have like 50 problems that are in here and written solutions. And I'm also going to post the material on my one of my Piazza.com classes. I have a school, Mark Weitzman's want to be a theoretical physicist school, and the term will be other. This is a small P for Physics 200, but this is a large P for the access code Physics 200. Okay, so let me start with the uh, problems. The first problem is um, 226, and I'll read it for you. It refers to this figure here. And it says, a loop of flexible chain of total weight W rests on a smooth right circular cone of base R and height H, as shown in figure 224. The chain rests in a horizontal circle on the cone whose axis is vertical find the tension T in the chain, neglect friction. And um, this is a fairly easy problem and the thing I want to just illustrate is the way to solve these problems is often using the principle of virtual work. So it's often easier than trying to figure out the forces and everything. And so in this problem, if I were to, if the chain were to lower, it, remember it says it's a uh, flexible chain, so you could imagine stretching it and it would go lower. If it were to go down by an amount del x, we know that, first of all, the um, the amount of work done, this tension in the chain, so when the chain, when it goes down, the chain becomes longer, and the amount of work done is just the force, which is the tension, times the distance, which is how much longer it became. So we can find out how much the circumference increases this is pure geometry. A lot of these problems are like pure geometry, 2 pi r del x over h. You can verify that. Imagine we start at the top where del x would be zero, so the circumference would be zero. We're on the bottom where del x would be h. Now the circumference would be 2 pi r as you would expect. And um, it's linear, so this is the right answer. It's simple geometry. 
and now this times this is the distance that the chain increases times the tension in the chain that will give me the work and that should be equal to the change in the potential energy which is W times del X W is the weight so we get the tension is equal to WH over 2 pi R okay